What is happening everyone? Brian Mello here again over at Marty's Chevrolet and today I'm pretty excited to give you a look at this 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe Premier. Now if you've been following my channel for a little while you know how this is going to go. We're going to do a quick walk around the outside of this vehicle, show you some of the highlighted features there and then once we're done we'll go inside and show you what goes on inside as well. So let's kick this thing straight off. Here is a look at your key fob. Of course, you've got your lock, you've got your unlock, you've got your remote start, lift and lower the lift gate, and your panic button. Really quickly, we're firing this thing up using the remote start. And of course, we're gonna acknowledge the fact that the LED lights do flicker. You know, if uh, you've been here, I always talk about it. If you're new here, the reason the LED lights flicker is that LED lights actually flicker at a really high rate of speed that the human eye does not detect. However, a lot of times cameras do, depending on the frame rate. We don't need to go into the technicalities behind it, but just know that's what it is. I'm gonna shut it down. Now, or maybe I'll start it twice. So, you've got your LED headlights, of course that LED day running light that you just saw. If we go down low, you can see, or hopefully you can see, I know it's tough on black, you can see these little dots, those are your front parking sensors. You've also got the cutouts in the front bumper on both sides. And just similar to the Silverado, that's actually for aerodynamics, so the wind hits the front bumper and gets directed straight out through those vents, giving you a little bit better fuel economy at higher speeds. Of course, we've got that nice chrome grill, and if we dive in close right underneath the bow tie, you can see the front camera for the HD surround vision camera system, which of course I'll show you in just a second. Love the new front end. If you're a fan of the current generation Silverados, I'm sure you're very happy to see that they pretty much took the front clip from the Silverado and slapped it right on the front of the Tahoe as well as, as the Suburban. Going around the side of the truck, you can see we've got 20 inch wheels. Let's dive in close for a better look. And these are 27560 Continental tires. So nice high quality tire, won't be a lot of uh, road noise and should be just fine in inclement weather, like here in New England, slush, sleet, things like that uh, are a common issue. You can see on the door, you've got your chrome Tahoe badging, side mirror, chrome cap, marker indicators built in, and if you can see right here, we've got yet another camera for our HD surround vision camera system. Chrome around the windows, chrome door handles, and of course, this is keyless entry. So as long as you have a key fob in your pocket, or in your purse or wherever it is, just make sure go up, hit that button that's gonna unlock and let you in. Now, I know it's tinted, so it's probably a little tough to see. I am filming this in 4K, so if you wanna try and pause it and read the window sticker, now would be the good time to do that. Alternatively, I'm just gonna spit out kind of the basic information that you're gonna to wanna to know. You can see the standard vehicle price here is 65,600. And then there are a bunch of added features. You can see the premium package right here was added in, that's 4485. And total vehicle price after everything is 71380 Now this does have the 5.3 liter V8 and 10 speed automatic. So that's gonna give you up to 20 miles per gallon highway, 18 combined and 16 city, which is not bad considering this thing is huge. Okay. I guess my food's ready. As we go around the back, you can see quite a difference in comparison to the previous generation. We've got quad exit exhaust. We've got the trailer tow package is all hidden away underneath that black cap there, which I think looks great. I'm glad they left the bottom of the bumper black. Obviously on this vehicle, it's not as dramatic, but if this was a white, uh, like a white Tahoe or a white Suburban, you'd see the difference with that cap. It just really blends in a lot better with it being black as opposed to color match. Premier badging in the bottom right hand corner. You can also see you've got rear backup sensors, those little dots there. Rear backup camera because you can just never have too many cameras when it comes to the HD surround vision camera system. And you've got a LED third brake light and you might be able to see your uh, rear wiper there. They tuck it in under there so that it doesn't get all covered in ice and things like that and gets stuck and doesn't really work in the winter time. Once again, if you're like me in New England, these are things that uh, come in handy. I'm gonna open up the back. In we go. All right, inside the back. Not, a, not bad, there's definitely more space in the back of the Tahoe 
than there was previously. Uh, obviously, if you need even more room, you'd be going to the Suburban, and I'll uh, put a Suburban link right here. Should pop up at the top of this video in case you're more interested in that and you need more space. But I would say this is almost double in comparison to the previous generation, which is uh, you know quite a bit. On the right side in the back here, you can see we've got the power buttons to fold our seats flat, both the captain's chairs as well as the third row, and you've got a full power outlet. Now I'll show you here, we're gonna push this button, you're gonna see that seat drop down nice and flat. We'll do it to this one as well. And you can see that gives you a ton of space. So whether it was a bunch of luggage, uh, dogs, whatever the case may be, you have plenty of space now. Uh, which, if you're wondering, this is just all the floor mats. We keep those all sealed up so that they stay nice and clean for whoever decides to buy this thing. Now, one thing I will note is that you can bring the seats back up in the third row from back here. However, the second row you would have to bring up manually. So if you were to fold that flat, let's see if the passenger seat is, yeah, the passenger seat might be too far back. Nope, she's gonna fold flat. So if you wanted to bring that seat back up, you would actually have to go up front and grab it and, and pull it up. Not a big deal, but I do like to notate that just so everybody knows uh, that's the case. And we'll use this button here. Of course, you can use the key fob uh, also, but we'll use that button there to drop the lift gate. All right, let's hop in the back. And I'll stand back so you can get a view. You can see you've got the black leather interior with the wood grain and aluminum surround. And also get a look at that big panoramic glass roof. There's a look at your captain's chairs, black leather, and then it's got, it's almost like a, it's like a cream color uh, stitching as well as this piping that runs around the seat and the headrests. It looks really, really good. Now you do have heated captain's chairs in the back. Third row is not, but your captain's chairs are. And you've also got two USB-C ports. See those on either side as your heated seats. And then down here you've got another full power outlet so plenty of places to plug in obviously 2020 you want to be able to plug in everything all the time so it's nice that the people up front aren't the only ones with outlets that our passengers in the back can also plug in nice and easy another quick look now this vehicle was actually being driven by the owner of the dealership for I think about a thousand miles all the great feedback she was really really impressed with it You can see the Chevy Miling system firing up. We're gonna start her. All right. Now, I'm gonna go through this kind of quickly as always. At the end, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, uh, or maybe I missed something, you wanna know more, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to try and answer those questions uh, as best as I can. So let's dive right into this thing. So on the left, we've got our memory seats power windows, power mirrors, and power door locks. I always remind everyone, these mirrors do fold in nice and, you know, it's not flush, but they do fold in really close to the body of the vehicle. You've got cameras and marker indicators. They're expensive mirrors. So if you're going to be parked on the city, you know, do yourself the favor and hit that button and fold those in. Also want to note too, while we're sitting right this camera angle, you can see with the wood, with the black leather and the contrast stitching, all just looks really, really great in here. It brings that luxury feel uh, to life inside the 2021 Tahoe. On our dash, we've got our electronic parking brake, our power e-brake, you know, you'll have the old handheld one. Not anymore. You've got your lane departure warning, traction control on or off, parking sensors on or off, hill descent control. This is to turn the auto stop feature off. I know some people love it, some people hate it. So if you come up to a red light, the vehicle automatically shuts down and then turns back on when you start to go. In order to increase your fuel economy, you can disable that if you want to. This button right here will turn on or off the um, the power outlets, so like that one all the way in the back or the one in the, the back seat and up front as well. And then on the right, this is the controls for your heads-up display. Now you've got a 15-inch heads-up display, believe it or not. I'm just going to crank the brightness all the way up so you'll be able to see it, and then I'm going to bring it up. Now, it's hard to video this thing. Hopefully you can see that. See me going through all the different options. You can see that's our approach angle. You can use your navigation, forward collision alert. 
uh, all through here. Really cool system. Once again, if you're seeing it flickering, it's just the way LEDs pick up. You can also disable the system. I have this in my Camaro. I actually turn it off at night. It's just a little too bright and distracting. So at night I turn it off, but it's a really, really cool feature to have. Down here, you've got your uh, four wheel drive and your drive mode selector. You can put this thing in sport mode and giddy up and go. You have your headlight controls, which will most likely stay in auto. And then your gauge uh, cluster brightness is right here, left and right. This is your um, trailer brake controller. Once again, if you're gonna do a lot of trailering, this is really nice to have. Up onto the steering wheel, we've got forward collision alert. We've got our heated steering wheel, cruise controls over here on the left. And then over here on the right, we've got our Bluetooth hands-free controls. And then this little toggle will go through our different information here on the gauge cluster. So we can go and see our speed, our tripometers, our fuel range, oil life, tire pressures, air filters, brake pad lifes, all that kind of stuff right through here. You can also use your navigation, you know, control your Chevy Myling system, everything from right here, or just leave it on home and you can see your speed and distance till empty, which is what most people, uh, most people have it set up on. Uh, back side of the steering wheel, if I didn't mention, is your audio controls, volume up and down. It's really easy. So if your hand is sitting here, volume up and down is right here. And that brings us over to our 10.2 inch full color Chevy Myling system. AM, FM, XM, satellite radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You've got 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot built into this thing. Really, really great system. Super intuitive and easy to use, which is very important. A lot of these systems, you know, when you go test drive stuff, get in and start using the navigation. See how easy it is to use. See how quick it is to get, you know, throw an address in. See how quick it is to go back. Check all those things because it's something that you're going to use all the time. So, you know, make sure that you really go through these systems. Uh, I know a year or two ago, this was rated as one of the most intuitive and easy to use systems on the market. And I'm sure it probably hasn't changed too much. As you can see, it's very Apple-esque. Um, I'll give you a look really quickly. Here's your camera system. Once again, 360 degree camera system. I'm gonna turn my overhead display on. So we've got a 3D overhead view here. And then now I'm looking at the back or I'm looking at the front. And you see that yellow dot corresponds to whichever direction you're looking at. So that's front, that's rear. We have the back overhead, we have front overhead, we have our curb hunter camera, so you don't want to curb these 20 inch wheels, so make sure that you're popping on the camera and check, taking a peek. You've got our trailer hitch cam, and then you've also got the see-through camera, which I still need to make a video on that. You can hook that up to your trailer and actually see through the camera, uh, through the trailer rather, it's, it's pretty cool. Awesome system. You shouldn't have any excuses now. You're not gonna be able to be like, I had an oopsie daisy. I mean, you can see everything, so really cool system. Make sure when you test drive, once again, your salesperson goes through all the different features. You, you know, go through the OnStar, go through the apps, go through the climate control system. I'm not going to go through everything on here because we'd be here, you know, all day, but make sure they go through everything. Underneath that system, you've got your normal climate controls that we're all used to seeing here. And then if we go underneath, you can see you've got your heated seats, your cooled seats, your rear climate control adjustments, and then you've got your USB-C, USB port, and your power outlet that you know we're all familiar with. And this right here, this mat, is a wireless charging mat, so you can actually just sit your phone down here. I'd show you, but I'm using my phone. Sit your phone down here, it's automatically gonna start charging for you, and it's gonna connect wirelessly using Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, whichever you know system that you're utilizing. Cup holders, pretty, you know, I don't think we have to go over that too much. We've got a big console here. You've got an organizer tray. It's rubber matted on the bottom. You've also got a USB-C, USB port, and SD card slot. Once again, plenty of places to plug in. They kept, they channeled it out here as well. So if you're running cables out, you're not pinching them with the console. Uh, cables aren't, aren't cheap either, so that's nice. I'll give you a look at the seat really quickly up front. Once again, you get that black leather with almost that like off-white piping and contrast stitching does have Bose audio in here. Sounds amazing. If you're an audio guy like me and you love loud music while you're driving, you'll be thoroughly impressed with the Bose audio system in here. Once again, wood grain, aluminum trim, black leather interior. The in looks awesome. I'm a huge fan. They did a massive improvement to the interiors on these for 2021. This little thing that I didn't address, it's actually just a place to keep sunglasses. So it's felt lined in there. Um, so you can throw your sunglasses in there and if they move around, they're not going to get all scratched up because they actually did remove the overhead compartment, you know, you used to have that overhead, you press the button, it dropped down, you can put sunglasses there, they got rid of that. So, which brings us up top. If you got your programmable garage door openers, you can drop the seats from here. So you can fold the seats. We've got your LED interior lighting. And we, you know, we do have our big giant panoramic roof now. You can see I'm closing it. 
leave it open. And of course, you know, you can slide it open, slide it back, or just pop it depending on what you're looking to do. Your OnStar uh, buttons have moved from the Mira to overhead, which I'm a fan of because your Mira is now a, an HD, full HD backup camera. And this stays on all the time. It's not just when you're in reverse. You can actually just have this on as your, you know, your rear mirror. So instead of, you know, looking at something like this to look behind you, you now have a nice HD display. And this is actually fully adjustable. So you can brighten it up if you want. And you can increase or decrease the zoom range. I like to leave it wide so I can see as much as humanly possible. Uh, and that, my friends, is kind of the quick rundown of this thing. So 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe Premier in black. I know that's not the real paint code. I'm going to go look at it really quickly because it's going to bother me. Is it Onyx? Midnight? Nope, I was right. It is just black. So 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe Premier. Once again, any questions, concerns, comments, please leave them down below. Consider supporting my channel if this video helped you at all. Like, subscribe, follow along, leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, I will all, I'll see you on the next video. I'm out of here. Take care and have an awesome weekend. I'm out.